In this video, we'll look at the different mammalian orders or start looking at them. We'll, we won't finish with this today. There's actually three videos on the mammalian orders. The first group that we're going to look at is a part of a subclass called Prototheria. Prototheria literally means first beast. So if you go back to that, that picture from the last video where we had the, the, or the mammals splitting off into the uh, egg-laying mammals and everything else. So these first beasts then are those egg-laying mammals, monotremata, or order monotremata. The subclass Prototheria only has one order in it, and it is this one. The duck-billed platypus there on the right and the echidna on the left are the most famous, or they're actually the only ones of this order. There's only three species in this order, two um, of the spiny anteaters and the duck-billed platypus, of course, and the spiny anteater and echidna, both of those words are synonymous with one another. They have a long, narrowed snout used for feeding on ants. Uh, the duck-billed platypus actually is the only venomous mammal. They have a, a little spikes near their rear that um, have these this venom in them, anti-predation protection. So that's it on monotremes. They are egg-laying mammals. Here's a picture of some of their eggs. And the next subclass is Theria, and all other mammals are in this subclass. The first mammals that we'll look at are marsupials, and marsupials are known for their pouch. The pouch is a place where after the female gives birth, the, the offspring they give birth to is a very underdeveloped offspring, very tiny um, and that offspring crawls its way into the pouch then and finishes its development. The first order of marsupials are called Didelophomorphia, and these are American possums. Um, they are characterized by that abdominal pouch, of course. Most species in this order are found in Central and South America. However, we do have one species in this order in this part of the world called the Virginia possum which are very familiar with. The next order is called Dasyuromorphia. These are carnivorous marsupials, and they um, include mostly large marsupial or mar large carnivores like you see here in the picture. However, there are some orders of mice as well. And these are just all carnivores confined to Australia, Tasmania, New Guinea, like all of these group except for the possums. And there's this Tasmanian devil there on the right, on the left, which is uh, very famous. And then, of course, the Tasmanian tiger, which is another one of those kind of poster children for extinction, very famous extinct mammal. Uh, though there are some perhaps sign that Tasmanian tigers are still with us, not a tiger at all. It looks more like a dog. Next is the order Paramelomorphia. These are bandicoots. And these animals are interesting in that they have a kind of placenta. And they have a very high rate of reproduction for marsupials. And there's around 22 species of bandicoots, the most famous of which is Crash. And then Dipro Diprotodontia. This is the um, order of marsupials that we are most familiar with. This is like koalas and wombats and Australian possums and wallabies and kangaroos and the sugar glider. Very diverse group containing mostly herbivores. Um, again, those islands that we mentioned earlier, Australia, Tasmania, New Guinea, islands in the East Indies, all of these are animals are confined to this part of the world. Of course, then there's the kangaroo and the sugar glider there on the right. Very famous group of animals.